Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another manicure to share with you, and I have started this manicure off. I had to go back to my Nail Teaks Formula 2. We're going to have to do that for a little while. I've got some nails acting up, so we're going to keep on using that one. You'll be seeing it a bunch. And then over that, I added the Yellow Stopper from um, American Classics. You can get this at Sally's. And then I used this Super Chick Lacquer. And this one is called Dopamine. Beautiful blue hollow. It's just... <sighs> and then I topped it all off with the Super Chick Lacquer top coat. And that's called Marble Liquid Micro. Macro. And I'm going to do some stamping today. Big surprise. <laughs> and I'm using my You Are Beautiful Plate 08. And I am going to be shooting for this little starfish looking design. I figured with this blue, it would look pretty cool. So I will be stamping today using Essie Penny Talk. And I have a new stamper. It's kind of like the big bling that everybody has. But this one I got off of Wish. And it's, it's a knockoff, but we're going to give it a try. It comes with, well, first of all, it comes with cap to keep it protected. And then it's got one stamper head in here that's more flat. And that's the one I'll be using today. And then it comes with another one that's more rounded. It's more domed shape. You see how the difference is on them? Like one's more flat and one's more domed. But I'm going to be trying to use this one today because I want to be able to line it up. It did come with a couple of little scrapers. And these are from Born Pretty. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I want to try to do this image over here. Kind of looking a little starfishy. And I haven't done anything to the stamper, and that wasn't a very good pickup. So we're going to try this again and see if we might need to wash the stamper off. I don't prime the jelly, the clear stampers with anything other than just washing them with just soap and um, water. <laughs> That's all I do to them. You don't want to put acetone on them. And I wonder if I'm just not getting a good scrape with these scraper cards. That might be a problem. Okay, that one picked up better, so we're going to go ahead and use it. Very nice. I am liking the design and I'm liking the stamper so far. So hold on just a second. I'm going to go grab another scraper. Okay, I'm back. Yay. Got my little trusty Faber Nail scraper. It seems to be my favorite here lately. I'm going to try to zoom you guys in so that we can get a better, hopefully a better view of this stamping. liking it. I'm liking the design and the stamper itself. And it was only, I think it was like two or three bucks. And I bought it off of Wish and it was the first time I'd ever bought anything off of that website. Um, one of my subscriber friends turned me on to Wish and I placed a rather large order and I had a few issues. Uh, my stuff did not come when it said it was supposed to. And then they sent me an email real quick, though, and about the time that I should have gotten my package and asked me if I had received my order, and I told them no. And you can click the button either I'll wait or give me a refund, and I went ahead and clicked the I'll wait. And then about a week and a half later, I decided I was tired of waiting and told them I wanted a refund, and I had no problems getting my refund. The money was put back into my account and it did say on the email that if the package arrived later that I was allowed to keep it and so that worked out really nice so about a week after they gave me my refund my order finally arrived and I got to keep it and that was part of this so 
I will tell you if you're waiting on them it will be a good wait but that their customer service is awesome there was no problems getting the refund and the products are really nice there we go now you can kind of see it a little bit huh so I will definitely buy from Wish again I really like the experience I like that they weren't hard to deal with when it came time to you know say I hadn't gotten something and I was really proud of how they how they handled it and really happy because you know we all don't want to just spend money and never hear, hear or see anything and have to fight to get our money back so I'm going to see how this cleans up with tape I've never done this with penny talk but it's coming up quite nice just wanted to show you guys real quick you guys you girls use peoples I wanted to <laughs> show everyone that, that that does clean up really well with tape so I'm gonna go finish this up off camera and we'll come back and do some top coat be right back okie dokie I'm back I've got the super chick lacquer and this is the Marvel liquid macro top coat and I am going to use it to top off my manicure today let's turn off this light so that Maybe we can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. I just don't want it to be too dark. So I'm going to be rather generous with this because I've never topped over stamping, I don't think, with this top coat. So, And it doesn't really matter whether you have used it or not. It's going to be different every time you use it. But I do like to float mine over the top look at that very nice very pretty really glad I could chose that design or that image here we go we're gonna continue on get some top cut on all of these being sure to wrap my tips and pulling out our friendly little orange wood stick make life easier later And I do like the um, top coat from Super Chick. I only use it when I'm using their polishes, though, because I kind of feel like it's special. I don't, um, <laughs> I had trouble getting my hands on it. I'd been wanting it for a very long time, and when I finally placed an order, I was able to get it. It was always out of stock every time I wanted it, and I finally got my hands on it. So I'm kind of being stingy with it, and I only use it when I'm using their polishes. And I know a lot of the girls out there, like they only use, you know, like the China Glaze top coats and base coats when they use China Glaze polishes. And oh, we got a fuzzy, we got to take care of that. There we go. I'm not really like that, but I do bounce around on top coats and base coats a lot. I was just telling someone today that I really do just need to pick my top coat and base coat for the most part and just stick with it and quit buying and trying all these other ones but I hear somebody talk about it and I've got to try it and there we go I think this one turned out really nice very very pretty so I will definitely take some pictures or a picture and put it on the end and you just can't get a feel for how pretty that blue is with artificial light in the Sun it's just greens so I will take a picture and put it at the end I would love to hear what you think about this one leave me a comment down below that is all I have for you today until next time be good to yourself talk to you soon bye